Graduated cylinders can be a bit deceptive. Longer markings on the cylinder represent one milliliter measurements. Most graduated cylinders include a separate shorter marking simply to aid your eye in reading the liquid measurement. On a larger graduated cylinder, they have a shorter line representing 0.5 milliliters. On a small graduated cylinder, the shorter lines are found every 0.2 milliliters. Don't let these markings confuse you. The experimenter should still only approximate the liquid volume to the tenths place, meaning all measurements will have one decimal place. The liquid level on this large graduated cylinder falls just below the 17 milliliter mark. The measurement would be estimated as 16.8 milliliters. On the small graduated cylinder, the marking falls between the 7.2 and 7.4 marks. This measurement would be estimated as 7.3 milliliters. Occasionally, the liquid level will end up directly on a 1 milliliter marking. In this case, you still need to estimate the measurement to the tenths place by including a point zero. This graduated cylinder contains 15.0 milliliters of liquid.